first off, congrats on the on the show. I've seen the first two oh, nice. yesterday. Um, I was going to say no spoilers, but it's history, so it's not really <laughs> not really spoilers. Um, you've worked with Helen pretty mm. recently, so for you, a question for you both: What was it? Was it her that kind of came to you, or was it the project with Helen as part of the deal, or was it was it her like when you worked with her, where she sort of said, "I have this thing that I might do." You know, it's funny. I did, I did remember last night I gave Helen an award. I presented Helen an award. Somebody else gave it to her, but I presented it to her, and. I said, you know, what's going on? You know, what are you up to? And she said, oh, I'm going to do Catherine the Great. I said, fantastic, it'd be a great Catherine the Great. And then, yeah, then a year later, I could send, you know, four scripts. Um, and uh, just went down the road. And it, I mean, it's everything when you come to think about it. You know, it's a four month commitment, mm. and I'm in LA with two kids and a wife. And so you, it's, it's, got to, it's got to all come together for it to work on a number of levels. And um, this team just did, you know. Um, from everyone that the, the cast came in, oh, cast, you know, Jennifer Keenan, you know, <laughs> Rory, you know, and you're just going through it all, and, and um, it's just such a, a depth of quality in this country. You know, young Joe, mm. uh, you know, everybody. I mean, really, in another actor's hands, that could have been just a fool's errand at the end. I've seen all four, and it just Joe's, just, he's wonderful in it. Mm. I mean, brings such a reality to it, but also, you know, a man who's playing. The man who should be king. Yeah. Um, so it was. It was everything. Yeah. And I wonder where we're Jenny McKean. Of course. You get some fun scenes together. Yeah. <laughs> Those first two episodes. <laughs> we talked a lot about her pin to you. <laughs> <laughs> I've only seen one episode so far. It's, it's. I mean, the scope of it is huge. I mean, TV has taken this huge over yeah. the last decade. This huge leap that. So many actors, you know, 20 years ago, be like, oh, I'm going to TV, you know, it's the end of my career. But now it's a great platform for people to tell stories that otherwise, you know, like this, such a huge endeavor, studios might It's eyeballs, studios. Yeah. So it's like HBO are getting Marvel numbers. Mm. You know, it's, 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 a, it's reaffirming in terms of audiences' education and appetites. You know, on a number of levels, I think it actually you know, is a, is a great shot in the arm, not just for us to go to work with and, you know, find that space, but like, that people are hungry for this and not just, you know, tights. Yeah. I've always loved telly. I love the telly. I do, I, I love, love telly. I love the telly. I love telly, I love watching it and I love making it and I've always felt like that. And those attitudes that used to exist, I never understood because I think it's phenomenal media and not to, I, I, I used to be puzzled why people didn't value it, and now they do. Now people get it and understand that you can get these incredible, um, I don't know, canvases to tell these multi-episodic stories, and you can zero into people's lives so qu easily and quickly. It's a fantastic media. Yeah. Where did you Where did you shoot? Because it has. A Huge epic feel to it. I can imagine it was the same. When you when you start seeing the big stuff, you start seeing the palaces in St. Petersburg. Yeah. We were really, really lucky because we shot in St. Petersburg, we also shot in Latvia and Lithuania, and we had phenomenal access to some splendid, glorious places. Mm -hmm. Some of the war sequences as well that you're involved in. I mean, it's like a it's massive cool, war movie, it? it's yeah. insane. It's, uh, so many extras as well by the looks of it as well, which yeah. adds so much authenticity yeah. to it. Yeah. I mean, Philip's a master of, of shooting that, you know? I mean, someone's thinking, dude, this is not going to play, is it? Gonna, you know, thing, but, but he just knows how to shoot something to kind of, to get it, you know? I mean, you know, his work on the crowd, the crowd really, really stunned me when I saw it. I thought, oh, that way of just like, Remember that you know one scene when they're setting up for the banquet, and it's just a walk by, and the way of showing the grandeur, the inside and out, you know, was I thought, man, that's that's some smart cookies there, yeah. And you know, and he brought that plus to this, you know, he directed all four, you know, in, you know, out of sequence, you know, in one block. It was it was an incredible effort of concentration, yeah. And your coverage is limited because of the scope of what he was after, so there's very little margin for error. And um, from anybody on it, and, and, and everybody just pitches in, and it gives it gives everyone a great, wonderful focus. Yeah. We all had an extraordinary time. Yeah. You know the producers, yeah. David and, and Charlie. You know, great English producers, and it's a it's a different touch and style and deafness which you know the, the English have and bring. You know, and 
you know, in a, in a marriage between HBO and Sky, you know, they can deliver it. Oh, it's a fascinating relationship between your two characters, both separately and together. I mean, what was yeah. it for you as actors that kind of drew you to them specifically, but also them as, not as a couple, but as a, as a duo, if you like? Well, initially, Countess Bruce is charged with sussing him out as a potential lover. But I think what makes it very interesting is that routine is interrupted when she understands that this is an exceptional individual and Catherine's interest in him is beyond the norm and maybe against the odds you could have a monarch who she, she is devoted to possibly to have gr a great love in her life or at least experience love and then it becomes apparent that it could be a great love. That element is what fuels Bruce, I think. And for you, Potemkin, he's a very interesting character, isn't he? It's a wonderful character. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, it's very sad to kind of say goodbye to him. It's just that, you know, living in these times and trying to achieve what they did, there wasn't, there wasn't, even though it was a great court and all that, it was up to the people to do it. You know, it was up to him to go and with everybody that he took and needed to make it happen. But when you read the letters of what he was up to down south and building and the hospitals was, you know, just setting up a city and design, you know, architecturally, you know, medically, you know, on, you know with warfare, I mean, they were, they were just, they were big, they were larger than life. There was a, we all have English accents, but there's a Russian sensibility to everyone's appetite. And um, it's very liberating and freeing. It really was. Yeah. And um, and I think everybody, you know, they're all, when you watch, even in the first two, there's such different personalities within this country. And he goes in later on about talking about, you know, where's our Russian? I should have bought my bear skin, you know, and, you know, what it means to be, you know, and just to find that, that individual Europeanness in them. I mean, Russia was European. Mm. But I had a ball. I mean, it was liberating. I'm working with Helen. And Gina, you know, great people that, that just, you know, there's a, there's, a, there's a sense of freedom there that, that you, you know, we can go anywhere and the camera will catch it. Yeah. You know, and we can really enjoy it together and, and, and build something. I have to mention Helen as she's an imposing figure. Oh, yeah. You're there. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. It sounds like it's anything to say that she was kind of born to play one because she's been around for so many years. But yeah. from the first seconds, you're so absorbed by her and the character. Yes. I mean, it's like a perfect marriage. Yes. I mean, you can imagine that it was amazing to see her not just acting as Helen Mirren, but bringing this character to life because she's so absorbing right from the first minute. Yes. Going through it, watching you go through it, it was not easy. No one was scared. You know, when we first arrived, it was a monumental undertaking. And she's the glue for the whole thing. Not just to, as the actress, but for the whole thing coming together. I mean, they had a long-term relationship with Nigel and, you know, and Philip and all that. But, but for everything, you know, just... And she sets tone without doing it. But I know she's aware of it, you know. And it is about setting a tone without anybody thinking, oh, okay, now it's Helen Mirren, you know. Um, but yet she does. You know, and she's still not scared to make a fool of herself, you know, or read off, a, you know, a, 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 a card reader there because there's just so many lines and there's just, you know, it's in inclusive and, you know, and, and gives you freedom and a license and a, as well as, you know, an education. Yeah. <laughs> Watching her work and turn it on at times is like, you know, when it gets in tight, she just finds, she finds an extra gear. Gina, who do you think looked better in a dress though, Helen or Jason? Because I have to say, <laughs> you looked pretty good in that dress too. You pulled it off very well. You all did, all of you, Richard and... <laughs> but that's, that's a great thing with the show, I think. It's such, there's, there's all the serious history bits, but there's a nice little playfulness and a liberty. One of, our, one of my favourite scenes to do was to see when we were talking, you, were, you know, that's you and I on the couch together. Yeah. And it was just, you know, yeah, uh, it's... Russia's a fascinating place. You and as you said know. about wearing the pants, she was one queen that had great legs and she wanted to show them off. So, you know, instead of a okay. beautiful handmaid, she just said, let's dress up like this. It's the, the, the incredible nation and race and people and times and, and um, you know, a lot of fun. Yeah. Before, we, before you go, so I'm sure we have to wrap up soon, I wanted to ask, always like to ask people about future things and old things. Gina's 
20 years of Notting Hill this year. And I spoke to Risa Barnes earlier in the year about it, and he was you know, so excited that it had been 20 years. So, I mean, why do you think that particular film has endured where others haven't? Um, I don't know. You know, I've only seen it once, and that was at the premiere. I should watch it again, so I'm not sure. Um, I think people seem to, when they talk about it, they, they seem to really enjoy the familiarity, I guess. I, I don't know. But I'm glad that it is successful after all this time. It was a great thing to do. I loved it. I can imagine, yeah. <laughs> and Ju I mean, Julia and Hugh together were just pretty yeah. dynamite, weren't they? Yeah. Lightning yeah. in a bowl, as it were. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm really chuffed that it still has legs. Yeah, still going after all these years. Mm -hmm. uh, Jason, you've, if IMDb is correct, you've just worked with, or you're working with Adam McKay on his yeah. next. Yeah. I think it's going to be on a television kind of a limited series. Yeah, thing. that must be pretty exciting. It's you and John C. Riley. Oh, it's hilarious. Really. Yeah, we're, <laughs> we're, yeah, we're in the middle of it now. Uh, like you know, I got on a plane. I shot and got on a plane. It's really, it's you know, it's it's the eighties. It's L.A. Mm -hmm. It's basketball. It's you know, it's it's as well as all of that. It's 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 just previous to you know the massive commercialization of sport and ownership. You know, that came after this, I guess, maybe because of this. Um, and I love Adam, and I love and I've loved John C. Riley. We've, we've almost worked together twice before. I, don't know, I was going to do The Lobster, and then I, I did wow. it. I had Will Everest pushed. That's two, you told us today. It's two, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, and I wanted to work with him for a long time. I really have. And there's a bit of a process of what happened with Bus. Michael Shannon was going to do it, and then he fell out for a couple of reasons, and, and then it was like, John C. Riley, and the minute he walked on his bus with the moustache, it's just like, yes, we got, you know, we're on the train. Yeah. And just one final thing I wanted to ask you, um, the new Terminator's coming out soon, mm. and I really enjoyed your portrayal of John Connor in Terminator mm. Genesis, and mm. for whatever reasons, it, 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 it went how it went. Yeah. Um, are you disappointed that you didn't get to go back and tell the trilogy as it was, or are you more excited to see that? Linda and Arnold are coming back with James Cameron for. I think that's great. Life. It was funny. I bumped into David Ellison on the plane over here. I haven't seen David for a little bit of time. We're talking about it. Um, I would have loved to have done. I mean, you know, they went into. We, you know, we, I think we, you know, we, we only fell, I don't know, fifty or sixty million short mm. of an automatic bang into two and three as you know as one. And and they'd written, I think, some very exciting stuff. And um, and then also, but you know, he's telling me about. But Linda and, and what they've gone through, and I'm you know you know I'm looking forward to seeing that again. You know just she, you know she, uh, the work she put in to get back to where she wanted to be, and even in the trailer that I saw, I mean she's a proper unit. Mm. I mean and and you know what it's her and Arnold, ultimately and James that that story belongs to. So I'm happy for them. Yeah, and more bodyguard for you. Are you doing more bodyguard? See bodyguard? I don't know. Still I, up in the air. I have no clue if it's going to happen again. Not it was big in England though, the bodyguard wasn't it? Yeah, English, that, and, that and Killing Eve were, the, I think at the time, the two oh, that really? were, the I were huge. I genuinely have no clue. You'd like to, though, I'm sure. If Who did you play in the bodyguard? Junior came up. Who did you play? I, I play Commander Anne Sampson. Oh, Commander. <laughs> yeah, watch <I'll> out. <laughs> 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 uh, it's been an absolute pleasure talking to you both. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Pleasure. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey you guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey you guys!